So we had a great time. We had such an honor, Chef Janet and the whole staff over at um, the Hope, Hope Drop-In Drop in, in Altoona invited us to their Christmas luncheon. Take a look. We have turkey and ham that we bake, so you can make turkey or ham sandwiches with mustard or mayonnaise. We've made homemade blueberry trifle for dessert. We have an assortment of Christmas cookies, and Chef Janet made a fruit and cheese display, and some there's brie cheeses, Ooh. and a lot of cheeses and things you may not have ever had before. So please enjoy yourself today. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> Did you see? So that's Chef Janet's husband, Bobby. He was moving and grooving. It was just such a beautiful luncheon. You said you really felt the, the whole Christmas holiday spirit after going. Like, right, now Morgan? I'm ready. I am in the spirit. Just because it's just a great way. Look at this. Come on. Little Leah. Hi. She loved those. <sighs> The Those therapy dogs. Snowsers. Look at their tree they decorated. So we heard it was the kiddos that decked it out, and let's just say they done good. And there's uh, still a tree under there, if you if you can believe it. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna take. I could borrow some decorations from my <laughs> right? tree from there. And then of course we have some more photos there. You and I are Chef Janet. Uh, who's a regular on the show. She snapped that photo from the luncheon. So she cooks the meals on Monday. Her and Bobby go down to volunteer and they made the rigatoni, the meatballs, the turkey, oh. the ham, the garlic bread, <gasps> which we loved. So good. And there is Pam. Pam and she is actually the director yeah. and helps run the Hope Drop-In Center, which is right here in Altoona. And we're gonna have them on the show to talk about yeah. all the great resources. And there's a large portion of the luncheon. It's a big bunch. Oh my goodness. We were having a blast. Of course, we gathered around the tree. We had to get photos. Dog made it in. There's and Veronica. There's yeah, Veronica. everyone wanted a little, a little photo op. So it was so exciting to see everybody. So heartwarming. Just a great way because you're feeling that people are giving back, you know, and putting in the the holiday spirit. Everybody looked so festive and fabulous. There's Kathy, her mother Phyllis, and we've even got Tina there on the end. It was just really nice to go out into the community. Oh, oh yeah. we've got Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> and Tanya works for Skills, and she said that one of her participants is a huge fan of Studio 814. So if you're watching, hey, ladies. She missed out on a good day. Oh, we could have met her. <laughs> we got Bobby and then Brian. It was funny. I kind of joked because he was wearing green. I was like, okay, I got to get a pick with the Grinch. But it was a lot of fun, and of course, Leah as well. So we just met great. so many amazing people mm -hmm. right here in the 814. And we did want to let you know a little bit more about the Hope Drop-In Center, yeah. where it's located, and if you need any type of assistance, maybe a place to hang out um, during the day, it's right there at 711 9th Avenue in Altoona. You can just head to hopedropin.org. We went to their Facebook site, and they serve meals Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah, it's a hot meal. It's a great time. You know, you already know Chef Janet, so you can stop by and say hello. But yeah, and you never know. Really we things. might be popping by again. Hey, I know. And there were therapy dogs, too. You never know what could happen. It was great.